man, we about to go deep with some of y'all parents. But do y'all really think that God will give you them children to drive y'all crazy? Come on now. Whew. When are you going to tell God about your children? When are you going to tell on your children? Tell on your children? Yeah, tell God. Let's get to the word. Exodus 32 and 30. The next day, Moses said to the people, you have committed a great sin. Now I will go up to the Lord, perhaps, and I can make an atonement for your sin. Now, see, watch this. See, we know God knows everything. Remember, I told you, God never, life never catches God by surprise, but it does catch us. So what does atonement mean? A reparation for an offense. See, Moses went to go ask God to forgive the people. When are y'all going to tell on y'all children? See, y'all letting y'all, some of y'all letting y'all children drive y'all crazy. Oh yeah, let me give y'all a word of advice. You're going to have to have more patience than your child. Why? Because when children are born in this world, they program their self. They self-program their self. When they cry, you change their diaper. When they cry, you feed them. When they cry, you rub their back. When they cry, you pick them up. So as they get older, they start to whine. You have to deprogram them. When are you going to tell God on your Man, listen, I'm trying to tell you, you better catch this. And listen, you going to need God's help. See, people act like they ain't no manual. It is a manual for these kids. Exodus 33 and 16. This is powerful. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight? I and your people. See, this is where Moses told God, these are your people. Listen, and y'all got to tell God, God, these are your children. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, listen. Listen, God, you're going to have to help me. Y'all know that's where some of y'all at right now where y'all need help. And this is Moses finished speaking. Is it not you're going with us so that we so that we are distinct? I and your people from every other people on the face of the earth. Verse 17. And the Lord said to Moses, I will do this very thing you at you have asked for. You have found favor in my sight and I know you by name. See, watch this. Moses reminded God about his people. And what did Mo y'all read what it says? Go read it yourself. He said that God said that he was going to do what he asked. Why don't y'all ask God to help y'all with these children? So I'm going to give y'all some strategic instructions. I want you to get a book. So here's my book that I write down, you know, a lot of stuff in it. Um, but I have a red book and I write down my children's name and I write down what I want them to do and I write down about having the right friends about you know the right people coming in their life and and stuff like that and you know write down what you want and you know I write down you know okay Lord I want them to be obedient and not disobedient with that's what they're dealing with so I want you to take like a red book or you know if you may have your favorite color I prefer red um, but it's up to you write down Habakkuk chapter 2 verses 2 through 4 and then after that Write down your children, write down your family members, whatever. And every time they, they act up, tell God on them. So this is what Habakkuk verses two through four says. Then the Lord answered and said, and answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. Watch this. This is why God wants to write it down. Tell me, tell me if I'm telling the truth or not. Y'all have a vision for y'all children and what y'all want. And what y'all want them to do to be successful in life, you know, to make it. Some of us want them to be better than what what we were, have more than what we had. You know, verse three, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. What is an appointed time? Watch this. Decided on beforehand. God is waiting on you. You waiting on God and God is waiting on you. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, it will speak. It will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it because it will surely come and it will not tarry. Verse four, behold the proud. His soul is not upright, but the just shall live by faith, live by his faith. See, remember what God told us for we walk by faith and not by sight. And see, what we do is we look at all the things that our children are going through and we ain't supposed to worry. You're supposed to tell God. See, some of y'all ain't told God yet, and God waiting. Y'all, y'all say, y'all say Moses. Moses said, "Look, God, them your people <laughs> when they was cutting up." And listen, the Bible says, "Train up a child." Proverbs twenty six, twenty two and six. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he, when he's old, he will not depart. When he is old, he will not depart from it. And stop calling y'all children bad. What do y'all expect God to do? 
if you calling your children bad. Oh, I'll be like, How, how's so and so doing? Oh, he bad. What y'all expect God to do? The term bad means a poor quality, low standard, or unwanted. Do you really want to put that over your your child? What do you expect God to do if you calling him bad? God said blessings and cursings. He was talking about how can they come out of the mouth? That's why God said, do not speak any unwholesome things. Ephesians 4 29, do not speak any unwholesome things, but that which is edifying. So what do we expect God to do if we sitting over here calling our children bad? Say they acting up. That's what you got to do. So I'm telling you, y'all better tell God when y'all should look, tell, tell on y'all children and tell God. Because listen, he waiting for y'all. Listen, I'm just a servant. Listen, try it out, write it down, and watch what God gonna do. Hey, y'all done tried everything else. Some of y'all ready to pull out y'all hair. Some of y'all really got a lot of gray hair. But listen, God ain't giving y'all them them children to, to drive y'all crazy. Listen, that's all you gotta do is tell God. Tell God to send a fish the same way he did with Jonah. God know what he's doing. And trust me, God know how to check them. God know how to get them. You know, some of them might right right now, you might not even be speaking to them. They might be, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? Tell God on them. You know? But listen, that's all you gotta do, you know. And listen, what God wants you to do is you want he wants you to have more patience than your children. Remember, they came from you. So tell God. Some of y'all may have adopted them and you know, you may be foster parents. Listen, you can still tell God. God, give me strength. God, give me peace. God, give me patience. And God's going to give you opportunities to gain patience. See, when I deal with my kids, I, I tell God. I tell, listen, I tell God and I tell on them. I'll be like, God, listen, them your people, <laughs> them your children. You're going to have to help me. See, God needs our help and we need God help. See, even Jesus, when Jesus was here, he still needed the mother and the father. You know, um, but yeah, tell, tell God, I don't know what y'all waiting on. Trust me. After this, you should be getting you a book. You should be writing it down and pray over that book and write it down. That's what I would do. Watch. And all of a sudden your children going to start straightening up and stuff like that. They ain't going to even know why. Love y'all. God bless.